when you think you got rod knocked, but really mm-hmm. there's a hammer in your cylinder. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to inside the shit and, and we're pumping out. Alright. Take my screwdriver back. Yeah. Your snap on screwdriver? No, this is a. Uh, Take it. Crash. Stanley. Take the hammer. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going <laughs> to. You don't mind. <laughs> hey, he's going to see this when he watches the video. <laughs> you see here the problem is he's got coolant and oil inside his exhaust manifold here. Why well, is it not supposed to be like that? No, your your this is your entire exhaust manifold. It's, uh, on, the, it's on the top of the motor. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh these turbines here, they spin and they push the exhaust out of the motor. <clears throat> and they're driven by the timing chain. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And then your camshaft is in the bottom of the motor, and that's what all the pistons and everything are connected to. Yeah, yeah, right. This is the crank right up here, the crank. Well, no, no. This is the exhaust man. That's the exhaust. These, these are the turbines. These are the turbos, yeah. No, not turbines. Oh, the turbines. Yeah, those are the turbines. <laughs> that move the exhaust gases out of the motor. Where's the turbo? Yeah, where is it? Oh, it's in the box. Oh, it's in the box. Yeah. It's a pretty simple installation of the uh, turbo. You just put it right there. Well, you gotta take the rag out of it. You just take your valve cover and you just self-tap that right to the valve cover and you put this. You gotta take the rag out of the turbo. No, no, you leave the rag. Oh, you leave it in? Yeah, no, that, it causes uh, air restriction, which makes more boost. <clears throat> what you're supposed to do with these holes, put lit cigarettes in them. And, uh... So you can hold more boost. Yeah. It needs hotter air. That's what makes the boost the hot air. Oh, so this goes in the spark plug hole? Yeah. And then every time you go... Well, that's the wire. So every time it goes... goes to your test light. Goes to the test light, which... So is that, is that in? Yeah. That's in inside the spark plug? Generally. Huh? Generally. Okay, so now I'll test the light. Well, first we have to put our cigarette out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is hooked up to the test light. It's not on. It looks like it's on, though. Yeah, it's not on. So for, to check for spark, you just turn this thing on. So I'll turn it on, see if it works. Where's the button? Oh, shit. So that cylinder's good then, right? Yeah, so we All right, so just on. check the other one. <laughs> so we, we got on the second cylinder now. Check for spark. Oh, All right, yeah, we have spark. All right, it's so enough for the third one. Oh, and also, <laughs> so 
It's like a four cylinder. Is that four cylinder? Now. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's just a dud. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. So let's so, check the fifth plug now. Fifth plug? Yeah, it's right. the fifth plug now. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, that one's got power. All right, so now let's check the sixth plug. Yeah, but this, now, this is, if it doesn't work, it's a head gasket. Because that's why it's got all this goop. So let's see if it, I mean, we could just test it right here. Yeah, let's test I, it. I don't need to take it off camera, but yeah, it doesn't work. So that's the bad cylinder. You know, usually, if you just change your oil pan gasket, the whole <coughs> head gasket issue goes right out the window. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's really all you have to do. And then while you have the oil pan down, you fill it up with nuts and bolts. Then you put uh, magnets on your crank. Magnets on the crank? Yeah, to attract the nuts and bolts so you have <coughs> spare nuts and bolts on your oh, crank. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. in case any of ever come loose. You well, have if there's metal shavings in the oil pan, then that means the motor's running good. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's just grinding up the nuts and bolts so that they're uh, malleable enough to get on. <laughs> yeah. The motor interchanges on it, on its own. Yeah, so like yeah, it's like zinc coating. <clears throat> so what do you recommend for oil? Ten W forty. No, these things usually run like ninety one ten weight. Ninety one ten. Yeah, gear oil. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to put in these. The oil channels in this motor are actually really big. Yeah, so just, yeah. yeah. They recommend 530, but you can't, you can't do anything like that. With 520, that. actually. Especially, well, yeah, that's right. Well, if you're running a turbo like this, you need thick oil to lubricate the bearings. Exactly. Yeah. Some nice 90 weight will usually do it justice. Mm hmm. We have a uh, fully loaded interior here, with other seat. Wait, let me see the leather seat. Yeah. It's right there. <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a, it's a four speed, right? Yeah, no, this is a, a four pure, speed. This is a pure sport race seat, actually. It's a factory option. You have a three model like this one. Yep. Yeah, the horn doesn't work, apparently. Well, we could test it. We don't need to I could, no, hold on. We can, does the horn work or not? The answers work. Does the horn work? How do we test it with the fl with the flashlight? I don't think we can. Huh? The shifter is removable. Just it's like your steering wheel. Just you can uh, unattach your steering wheel and your shift knob, so uh, <coughs> it's harder for people to steer your car. 